Ever since I released my old Android game automation videos such as Stick Hero and Bowling, Pong, and Arcade Basketball, that was the one type of video that people always ask that I make more of. The game I decided to automate this time around is Ski Ball. If you've ever been to a real arcade, you've probably seen it. It has like a ramp, a bunch of holes that denote different points, and then you get like eight or ten balls, you throw them down the ramp, and you hope to get the highest score by laying them in the holes. And just like most arcade games, there's about a bajillion apps that replicate it on the place store and I largely just picked one at random for this video. So here's how this particular app works. You can see I just throw like one ball and another and I'm, I'm trying to get them in the holes. I'm just throwing them at random here and it's loading up the points. I kind of wish I could throw a bunch in rapid fire and that's actually what I'm trying to do but it's just not going. And then the goal of course is to get the highest score. Just a quick note, this game is littered with ads and it's almost unplayable, but if you turn on airplane mode before you open the app, you don't get any ads. So to make an initial concept for automation on this game wasn't particularly hard. It was a lot like the bowling one I did. Now with the bowling one, I had to draw basically a straight line on the app to throw the ball as dead center as I could. With this game, is a little different because you don't throw it straight. You have to throw it either at a left or right angle to hit the 100 point hole. Ultimately, it only took two lines of code and not even really code, just two command line commands, one to throw uh, to the left 100 pointer and one to throw to the right 100 pointer. Just for a little demonstration, if I just put it in a quick loop, then it throws perfect 100 pointers every time. Just to make things a little interesting, I made this into a bash script and I made it so there's a 50% chance to throw it to the left and a 50% chance to throw it to the right. And it works exactly the same in an infinite loop and it throws perfect 100 pointers every time. The only difference is they're alternating between the left and the right. This game has a boss mode, which I thought was kind of cool. It's really just like a 90 second game where you just throw as many points as you possibly can. So I tried my script throwing 100 pointers either left and right at random just to see how high of a score I could get. I'll save you the trouble of watching the entire video here, I'll just skip forward to the end. So suffice it to say, the script never missed. It hit all 100 pointers and I threw down a pretty big score, 18,900. I actually had a bigger score earlier of 23,510, which is kind of insane. I felt that this code was a little bit too boring and kind of like the bowling game. So I took it a step further. I thought, you know what? If I get eight balls to throw, what if I input the score that I wanted to get and then it throws the appropriate balls and the appropriate holes to make that exact score? So in other words, if I said, give me a score of 480, it would throw four 100s, a 50, and a 30. So I didn't really want to attempt this in Bash, so I converted it to Node.js. And more or less what I did is I first figured out each particular command I had to run to throw balls that were 100, 50, 40, 30, 20, and 10. And then I just kept deducting from the score that the user inputted until it reached zero and just threw the appropriate ball. And here's the final test. I'm gonna run the script. It's gonna ask me what score I want. I'm gonna do, let's say 560, and then let's go. Let's gonna throw 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 50, and a 10. And it equals 560. Given the particular game and what I had to work with, I thought this was kind of a neat little thing to do with it. That's it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed this latest installment of automating Android games. If you have any questions or feedback about anything you saw in this video, please be sure to leave them below in the comments. If you think there's any possible way I could have improved it, I definitely want to hear that as well in the comments. Also, let me know if you have any other suggestions for other Android games you'd like to see me automate. I love doing these, so I'd be more than happy to do more. As always, thanks all for watching, and take care.